Hey friends, in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about the root nodule formation by rhizobium. We all know what is the root nodule formed. Root nodule is formed in order to fix the nitrogen. Nitrogen that is a very essential component for the plants to be uptaken for their growth and development. But since we know that nitrogen is not present in a in a soluble state that can be easily absorbed by the plant it needs to be fixed into the soluble forms and it is done by multiple microorganisms among which rhizobium is one of them now we have been knowing that we have been seeing that the nitrogen is fixed by different uh, leg, uh, leguminous and non-leguminous plants as well and now today we are going to discuss about the nitrogen fixation by in uh, leguminous plants in the root nodules how a rhizobium fixes nitrogen in the roots of uh, leguminous plants and how the root nodules are formed we have all seen the no root nodule like this small ball like spherical structures in the roots so how does a rhizobium does it? now so first let us see in the right figure the small figure one how a rhizobium got infection well a rhizobium is particularly a uh, an aerobic bacteria that is present in the soil but in the saprophytic way until it caused an infection to the root here well it isn't present in the soil so the important way how it infects the plant is through the root so how does an infection of a root flower leguminous plants and not other plants takes place by rhizobium so we can see in the figure in the right as you can see in here this is supposed the root okay now it has secreted different com chemicals like flavonoids the root hairs first secretes the chemicals like flavonoids that are sensed by the rhizobium present in the soil as can be seen in here so when the rhizobium this uh, this spherical half circle structure is the rhizobium is pulled it senses the fl flavonoids secreted by the roots and then it's it uh, expresses its gene it expresses its gene secreting different chemicals like molecules or node factors we say these node factors help in causing the curling mechanism of the root so that when an infection of the root occurs by the rhizobium bacteria the root curls itself now as you can see in this left figure a rhizobium bacteria infected a root hair and root hair releases a substance that attracts the rhizobium the rhizobium came here because of the different flavonoids that were released by the uh, root hair and that trigger that also activates the genes in the bacteria rhizobium bacteria that releasing the chemicals that are known as termed as node factors and then it helps in the curling that activates the curling of the root hair as can be seen in here okay now rhizobium proliferates and causes an infection thread to form so as now as the rhizobium is incorporated into inside the uh, curled root hair it forms an infection thread the infection thread is, a, is simply a hollow tube like a structure that extends inside the cell uh, the plasma membrane like structure is in, is formed in here an infection thread through an infection thread a pipe like structure the rhizobium penetrates inside the cell as it can be seen in here and after then that the infection thread keeps on growing and growing and growing and it further uh, grows into the cortex as can be sh shown in here the right the infection thread has enhanced and increased and it's entered inside the cell reaching to the inner cells as can be shown in the in this figure and thus the rhizobium gets entered gets penetrated inside the cells now infection thread now releases this bacteria into different cells the which which acts as bacteria so the bacterial cell membrane disappears and in the root cells uh, the cytokines from different bacteria are called the plants cortical cells to divide now when this uh, when the infection thread allows the bacteria to enter inside the cell the bacteria start grow, multiplying themselves and then it also helps it influences the cells in the periphery to divide and as you can see in here this uh, bacteria has divided in number in the final figure we can see the bacteria has divided in a large number and they have spread in different cortical cells also uh, promoting the multiplication of the cortical cells root uh, in this way is, is as large as the bacteria grows and divides the root nodule size also increases the root nodule forms from the rapidly dividing infected cortical cells bacteria perform the symbiotic nitrogen fixation so uh, when the bacteria are 
large in number enough for the uh, for science uh, nitrogen fixation it's not fixing nitrogen but here in this what you have to remember is that there in case of nitrogen fixation there is an enzyme nitrogen is involved and what we can see in the figure we have all if you have noticed a root uh, nodule right gerbium root nodule it is kind of pink in color or dark brown in color and why does that happen that is because of the presence of leg hemoglobin a protein an iron globin protein that is present in the uh, peribacterial space in between the bacteria inside the cells and the outer membrane there is a peribacterial space that consists of a leg hemoglobin protein that prevents the oxygen or we can say it just supplies the careful amount of oxygen to the bacteria so the bacteria can carry out its metabolism but it in, in a quantity not higher enough that it inhibits the nitrogenase enzyme that is present in the bacteria that will inhibit the nitrogen fixation so that is a one important point like hemoglobin it simply is we can say the hemoglobin of our blood that carries oxygen it does carry oxygen it binds the oxygen and only provides this uh, the uh, correct amount or the uh, amount just sufficient for carrying out the metabolism rather than inhibiting the enzyme so that is one important point about nitrogen nit nitrogen nitrogen fixation uh, besides than that it is all about uh, as long as um, the number of bacteria goes on increasing the nodule gets larger and mature you can if you wish to isolate the rhizobium from the root nodule you just need to see uh, the dark red or dark brown color root nodules because it is an actual root it is with the higher number of rhizobium and all so this is how it forms right in root, uh, root nodule and finally what it does is fixing the nitrogen providing the plant so that it can grow properly for different metabolic activities i hope that was helpful